So a little quick side note. Got hammer in the little pry bar. So I'm back at the fuel pump. <laughs> Take it back out. Put it back in. Now, little hint. Tell me you dummy like me. Uh, connect that little fuel line. There goes to that hose there. That's inside the tank. Huh? I forgot to check it. Yeah, I connect it. So, don't be a dummy like me. <laughs> Learn from my horrible mistake. I got the lock ring back on. Now, I gotta connect the filler neck back up. After I already done done it, I had to disconnect it. And, I'm still in the strap, so I ain't go really far down. Of course, I'm uh, sorry for the ugliness, but it's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Connect it. Don't forget it. <laughs> a little funny side note, uh huh? All right, see you in a minute. Yeah, there's only. Uh -uh. So what time is? I mean, I'm 4.35, and boy, I made some couple of dumb little mistakes, forgetting a couple of little things, that hose to cap the fuel line that's not being used, uh, the hose that's in the fuel tank down here that connects to that second hose with the green tab, boy, whew. Trying to get this aligned to meet up with that blue tab hose there when it goes to the motor. Boy, off and on little things. Still gotta tighten down the, the uh, charcoal can. Actually gotta find the other bolt because the other one fell out and somewhere on the ground over there. And I think the fuel line fuel mix. I think that's tight over there. We'll check those two hose clamps. And now I'm regretting earlier when I was oh, I forgot about that hose inside the tank. I had a uh, had to uh, drop the tank and oh. I might drop it. Firstly, drop it. And, uh, I gotta find that other bolt. But, yeah, but all that's left now is to redo the, um, put the straps on the, on the tank. I'm go see if it starts. Oh yeah, I gotta tighten that hose clamp. I'll see if it starts before I put down the the straps. No way. In case it doesn't start, then I'll be taking it back down and wait until I get the other fuel pump. Right now I'm. Hoping and praying that it does start. Oh, there it goes. Right now, I'm just hoping and praying it does start so I can wait to get the fuel and the money for my taxes, which is supposed to be any day still. Uh, I think the last update they said was uh, Saturday, which is luckily today now so yeah long night trying to rush to get done but not paying attention enough to make choices that I mean think about the steps kind of kind of sort of rushing a little too much to be thinking a little Let's uh oh no it's tight but it's crooked 
I go to sleep. So, loosen it up a little bit. Straighten it up. So it sits even. I think that one's tight. Yep. And it's funny when I when I got done earlier, I poured fuel in here and uh it was a couple a little bit of leaking at this bottom clamp because I was uh test uh gonna test a fuel pump and squirt some fuel pump out but when I was pouring the fuel in I was gonna do all that before I tighten everything down. Oh cold breeze cold breeze oh, oh I wish uh, Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I should have put a blanket. I, I just thought about that little winter trick. Put a blanket on the back of the tailgate. So it would uh, block that wind. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it stopped. Grass stopped blowing there. But, ooh. Oh, it's cold. So, and sorry for the bunch of videos, but kind of interesting, making mistakes and kind of humorous to think about. Uh, forgetting steps that you know you should be taking, but you're trying to rush to make sure your wife gets to work here in another 30 minutes so i guess she's going to be driving the car that we're not supposed to be really driving but yeah. oh, am i zoomed in no it's really close huh? but all right test the <sighs> seeing this stuff's crazy why make it so tight around that why not route the hoses correctly decently but I'm not a, I need to get new pump stops a new lift kit the whole nine yards but uh, new trolling arm <laughs> bigger sway bar link so I'm gonna crawl out of here, freeze some more, and hopefully get this truck started right now. Let you know how it goes one way or another. Probably got probably got technos up. I gotta get that socket. But it'll be good enough to make sure it starts. So see you in a minute. Crawl my butt up here. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Alright. Let's see what happens. Well, I gotta pour some more fuel in there, but. Uh, I don't think I got enough fuel in there. And plus, I still gotta pour that heat in there. Which <coughs> oh, sorry, but all right. See you in a minute. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna turn down the tank. Okay. Down honey. He's trying to get this lady a pair of bills, but I have some slight good news. Ah, uh, the fuel light is off. The low fuel light is off. I'm actually going to try to hook up my scan tool. A little cheapo scan tool I got from my buddy, Alan. Working on his truck. He gave me a, a link error earlier. Probably got it. And I'm trying to charge the battery. Damn, lights turn off. But 
battery is charging up a little bit. Actually, I probably checked that. All right, grab my multimeter and check the voltage of the amp to be extra fun. Oh, oh yeah, I left the key on too. That's why the lights are still on. Check this scan tool. Let that read. Probably tell me in link error again. But oh, disconnect this for a second. Check this multimeter. And see what I got for battery voltage. See you in a minute when something fun happens. Alright, see me through the fog now. Smoking a cigarette. I'm about to give up for the night. Charge, trying to charge this battery. It says it's almost full. But when I click the, the, the uh, engine start, and you gotta click on 50 amps. But it's still saying battery, battery, faulty battery. So, trying to charge it. But the battery said on the voltmeter almost 12 volts, it was like 11.50 volts. Um, got the charging thing on it, checking all the relays and the fuses. While I was been waiting for it to charge, so I'm uh, walking around. I'm gonna pick up all my tools. Sprayway Custom, my one of my favorite dudes. To watch that does car audio. Him and um high vol high voltage car audio. Um, uh, JT. Um, but. I wanted to walk over here and it says 43 degrees and that's another reason why I'm um, cold at night and uh oh 37 degrees so uh pretty cold to be trying to use that battery even though it has a cold crank amp so um 32 degrees but it's pretty cold and batteries been sitting for a while I got that battery a couple like maybe a month ago and it's been disconnected so it shouldn't have been draining really at all but um, clean up put these coolers up and I got the tank all done but the good thing is my my fuel light went off. It's telling me low fuel. So that's a it's a heck of a plus. It's even saying I got a little bit of gas in there, even though I just filled it up that much. Of gas that five gallon jug so um, turn off this radio see if that gives me more cranking amps I hate stock radios <laughs> but yeah it's not it's all I get is dead crank so I'm uh I'm happy about the fuel sign but annoyed at the stall crank so I'm uh gonna clean up uh try to get a ride to uh, royalty place where I bought that battery Royal Tea King and um, just exchange it and get a fresh battery and plus uh, my my uh, 
my wife uh, came out because it's uh, 555 so she came outside yeah, it's or oh, not six o'clock so uh, she came outside about an hour and a half ago and go to work and she took the little black car I guess it was okay to drive for one day why she wasn't throwing it no I don't want to talk bad about people but it's kind of irritating uh, the situation that that puts us in knowing what's going on so it is what it is and it does what it does so I'm uh, going to pick up some of my tools and have a little relaxation go take a nap oh my god <laughs> yeah a little all night and look <laughs> got one glove okay no glove oh my hands cold too but Yo, straight. I didn't hold cigarette smoke in my lungs that long <laughs> or that much. <coughs> but. <laughs> Little annoying sound effects. Uh, fun. But. Let's see. Yeah, pick up my tools before I put my hat on. So, have some fun and dang, these minutes add up. See you in a minute. Have a good night. I'm gonna go take a nap. Um, walking beers, and over on the back step over there, there's two giant pit bulls. Which, well, not giant, but about the same size as beers. But. <laughs> I think that's the black one I seen the other day. And then that brindle. And they seen fears and he started taking off. No, Pierce saw. Pierce ain't liking that. He ain't liking another. And I bet those are both males. So, a male being around his female. And I know that one brindle is uh, the guy that lives down the corner. You know, his girlfriend's trailer. One that has that red Chevy Silverado. But, <coughs> you know, I'm outside walking beers. I just got done walking down. At least she wasn't out here. She probably would have gone off when them and then they would have rained quicker <laughs> but you know I'm outside walking beers and uh I was editing the video listening to lawsuit Jerry on his video I'm about to post this video of me uh doing daily activities and whatnot <laughs> <coughs> but yeah that was kind of interesting, huh? But, all right, see you in a minute. Now they're over there. <coughs> they're there. See, same beers over here. They can start and go that way now. Oh. Come on. Nice looking. A black one. And a brindle. Add to my color collection. They're there. Add them to my, my color collection. Have me a red nose. Have a... 
You seen those other pibbles? 